What's up YouTube? It's Clash Corey. We are back with a Clash Mini video. Today we are showing you the best deck in the game. I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing a ton of Clash Mini since the update. In fact, I pushed up so far. I'm now top 10 in the world. Boom. So yes, I've been playing a ton. Hundreds and hundreds of games. And on my journey up to the top, of course, I tried every single hero, a bunch of different decks. And this deck right here, Monk, is the best hero in the game. And I found this to be the most consistent deck. You're not going to win every single game. You can always lose mirror matchups, but this is definitely the best and most consistent deck in the game I have found by far. All right, let's start off with the minis. From most important to least, Bowler, arguably the best mini in the game, especially when you combine that first ability for the extra roll damage and the third ability where he now throws his roll after every two attacks. It's incredibly overpowered, stun, plus six damage to possibly multiple enemies multiple times throughout the game. Easily the best mini in the game, 100%. If you can get those two upgrades right away, those are probably always the upgrades you would want. Next most important mini is the Mini Pekka, another one of the strongest minis in the game right now, partially because Dissipate is good versus every single melee hero. Another huge reason the mini P.E.K.K.A. is really good is because of the Pancaker Gizmo. If this Gizmo is available, always go for it and always try to give it to the mini P.E.K.K.A. who gets a secret buff, which is not listed. But if the mini P.E.K.K.A. gets hit with the Pancaker, he will also get a speed boost, both attack and move speed boost making Mini P.E.K.K.A. plus Pancaker the strongest combo in the game. If anything is overpowered and broken and it's not Bowler, it's definitely this. Next up, Golden Giant. Not a super important unit, but he's very tanky and super good versus Royal Champion, who is also a great hero. And in general, there's a solid amount of stuns going around. You can't really go too wrong with Golden Giant in your deck. Next up, Healing Ranger, another solid unit in the game right now. Not critical for this deck, but Healing Ranger is really good versus Shield Maiden to help keep your troop alive. Also, Royal Champion, help keep your team off. And in late game, Healing Ranger, especially plus the speed boost with the third ability, is a really good combo to just give to your team. Now, least important in this deck is the Lumberjack. You can definitely easily replace him, but also notice... My Lumberjack is zero star. I, on purpose, did not give any stars. And this is a low-key pro tip. Doing something like this will allow you to cycle your deck faster and give stars to the minis that are most important in your deck. I only have one copy of Lumberjack in my deck because I didn't give him any stars. And now, since gizmos are so important in the game, this can allow you to give stars to the minis you want because it'll be easier to get them in your card hand. And if you're looking to replace something in this deck, Musketeer or Fisherman are other solid options. Now, last thing before we get into some live matches, what gizmos should you be going for? As I said, Pancaker is by far the best and most important one, but if you can't get that, next up would be the Saint Mirror, something that's defensive, but also provides damage for you. This can be really key, especially in mirror matches, one of the hardest things to win. This can easily allow you to do that. Now, honestly, those two gizmos are easily the best ones for this deck. Next up after that, Hot Pot, Sauna, and Elixir Collector are all pretty decent for you to use. Kind of depends on the matchup. If you won the first game and you want to go for Elixir Collector, you probably can't go wrong. If you're facing a bunch of high health units, Hot Pot can't do you that bad. And if you're on Mirror Map, the Sauna can be a really good tool because you can mirror something, it'll die quickly and you usually do something amazing that you're mirroring. But to be honest, none of them are amazing gizmos or amazing with this deck. Next most useful is the Rocket Artillery, and especially if you're facing Archer Queen, Rocket Artillery is very good because nothing's gonna run out of range of it, and is for sure either getting a kill versus like a Witch or Archer Queen. As far as the King Tower, something that requires four stars and using a deck that's a bunch of three cost minis, it's really not recommended. But if you win the first match and you think it's a matchup that you don't like, you, you think you're gonna end up losing in the later rounds, going for it in that scenario is actually not a bad idea because it will probably carry you to victory if and when you're able to get it. 
The War Toot, I really don't recommend, but if you get it, throw it up at the top and maybe it can tank a little bit for you. And I would never do Training Camp and I would never do Mucho Puncho. Not good with this deck. All right, now let's play some live top ladder matches and I can walk you through my decision-making process. Okay, this time we're facing Skeleton King, which honestly is probably the hardest thing for me to face. Um, because he'll separate you, right, with his super, and then he's able to dissipate once he separates you. So I'm gonna try and make sure my Monk is in the middle, that way he's not getting dissipated. Golden Giant should stay alive. Uh, he has P.E.K.K.A., which is really good versus this. P.E.K.K.A. is a Skeleton Giant. Because one thing that sucks too is, of course, if I use my Super on Skeleton Giant, I don't get any health. Or, oh, I definitely lose. Yeah, you're going to lose a lot of early rounds versus this. But when, I, when you Super him, you don't get health or energy back because you're not getting a kill. So it's a really difficult matchup. So let's see how this goes. And I don't feel like I have any good gizmos. Actually, I do. Just kidding. I have um, some great gizmos. I, I could just upgrade my Golden Giant. I think I will. And this way I don't have to roll. Okay, here we go. Of course I gave the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Dissipate. That way if we're on his hero, he's not able to do anything. Unfortunately, it's like that. But he sold his P.E.K.K.A., which is really good for me. Although, it still doesn't look great. And I'm not getting the right... I'm not giving it to Mini P.E.K.K.A. Come on! The problem is, of course, he has Elixir Collector. And we took 20 seconds to kill him. So that, you know, we should hopefully win this round in the next round. And I'm not so sure how it will go after that. All right, here we go. Mini P.E.K.K.A. on the far right. Hopefully getting the Pancaker. I do. And because I silenced a bunch of people, I was able to get that. Okay, Mini P.E.K.K.A. going off. Okay, so looks like we're going to win this round. But the question is, the next round, thankfully we did that quickly, so we didn't get a lot of elixir. All right, I went ahead and sold my golden giant and then rebought it. That way he doesn't have the upgrade. That way I have extra elixir. That way I can give it to Bowler, get him to two stars, so he has extra damage and the roll. Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, golden giant upgraded in the earlier rounds can be really good, but uh, it's not as amazing later on. Okay, we got our P.E.K.K.A. doing his thing. Perfect! And we got... The dub versus probably our hardest matchup. All right, Royal Champion, a very strong hero right now. All right, there is a Pancake or Gizmo, so always going for Mini P.E.K.K.A. versus Royal Champion. A lot of times, first off, I stack my units. This way, make sure that I'm the Royal Champion ability is not going to get me because my hero is going to silence her if she's in the same lane. She's not. Okay. Also, it's Pancaker, so make sure we play the Mini P.E.K.K.A. here. Okay, I feel like we're gonna lose this, because he's gonna get a reset. Oh, God. All right, so that did not go well. Hindsight, maybe I should have had my uh, Golden Giant in front, but it's fine. Let's see if we can recover. Mini P.E.K.K.A. upgrade for sure. Don't need Dissipate because his hero's in the back line. We are going to take a second Mini P.E.K.K.A. upgrade, put on the Pancaker, go over here, Okay, we're gonna go like this. The Golden Giant's gonna get the first Pancaker, but afterwards it should be, oh. That's what I was trying to avoid. Pancaker, and it's dissipating. Oh, two sixes. Woo -hoo -hoo. And this is where Pancaker plus Mini Pack has the most broken thing in the game. Woo. All right, we're gonna go with a Bowler upgrade, get the third ability, get some rolls on the board. This is more of a long-term play. We could have gone for a Golden Giant upgrade uh, versus Royal Champion. It is a pretty good idea. Uh, just because it can allow him to be so, so, so tanky. Okay, Pancaker going off. Come on, Pancaker, you can do this! It's all on you, baby! Ooh, wait! No! Don't do this! No! <laughs> oh, that was close. Alright, here we go. We went Lumberjack on the board, another tank, and Bowler plus four damage here. We got a roll on the Dark Goblin. Uh, we got our P.E.K.K.A. going right away, going ham. Okay, he did get stunned, but it's fine. All right, fifth round. All right, so we got the Healing Ranger on the board. Added a third ability for the speed. Let's see how this goes. We split up our tanks. Um, trying to make sure they're not too grouped up here. We gave Lumberjack over to the Mini P.E.K.K.A. That way he gets some extra rage, uh, potentially. Okay. Interesting. His Valkyrie is going off, kind of. He might get some resets, but Mini P.E.K.K.A. 
is dissipating, so it's all over. We ride it on the back of the pancaker. Seriously, best combo in the game, and this is why. Okay, mirror matchup time. Let's see how this goes. So basically, the way I play mirror matchup is two melee in front in the first round and Monk behind, and the goal here is he uses that first super on not my monk, and I'm able to super his monk. That's the whole the whole thing is a game of like chicken, where you're trying to just super his enemy. And one awkward part, see, he actually has more energy than my monk. Who's gonna super first? I did just barely. Sometimes it's awkward. It like depends because whenever someone attacks your monk, you gain one energy. So sometimes like frontlining it isn't necessarily a bad thing. But first round, I always make sure I'm not doing it. Okay, honestly, I'm going two mini P.E.K.K.A. upgrades to get Dissipate because that's really good, at least early on. And none of these are very good, uh, just to be real. I guess I'm going Sauna, and that way I can be more aggressive with my Monk. Um, looks like, unfortunately, it's going to be Golden Giant here that's going to be in the Sauna. That's not very good. Oh god, I'm getting rolled. I mean, it's gonna come down to who supers first. Oh no, I got stunned. But wait, there's more. Oh, okay. I think we win this, right? Even though he might super us. We still have more health, please. No. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so we went ahead and put Lumberjack and Bowler on the board, and we're using the jump pad here. I'm noticing he's putting a lot of squishy stuff in his back line. He did go ahead and use rockets. Um, okay, that makes sense. It's a good thing, but there goes his hero. Although everything's grouped up on my side. Oh, wait, it's fine. It's fine. We get the win versus the mirror matchup. Neither of us really had a uh, good gizmo, so it came down to placement. My monk stayed alive longer than his. That's what it came down to. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and let me know what Clash Mini video you all want next. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Clash Corey, and I'll catch you later. Peace.